So this is Adobe After Effects. It's for doing special effects in video. And let's open it up down here. And we'll notice that there's no timeline, there's no browser or anything like that. So viewer. So we can go to composition. This will give us a new composition. We can do the new composition. Make sure you're set at high definition and 1280 by 720. And you want to keep the frame rate at 29.97, which is the frame rate for video and television. And about 10 seconds would be good and zero frames. And there we have it. Now we have our timeline and then we have our view up here. So let's import a file. And you can either drag this file here or you can drag it down here. And if we drag it down in the timeline, it'll be centered. And then we can make it bigger by just dragging just like this. And here with the elliptical tool, what I'm going to do to get rid of the uh, watermark is to click in the middle of this, and hold down the Command key, and the Shift at the same time. And then that will just mask out everything except for what's underneath this. So now I want to put some um, text on there. So we'll just go up here to the text tool. We can choose any color we like. We can choose any sort of uh, font up here. And we can control all these different things. So we'll put this text up here. Now, what I want is for the text to come out of the middle, and then as it gets bigger, to go to the outside. So I can take this tool, put it over this little axle here, put the axle in the middle. Now, when I go to make it bigger, if I click on the layer for the text, I can hit the S for size, and that will give me the scale here. And I can click on this little clock that will set my keyframe. And notice how here the little keyframe is set. So let's drag this down. zero in the middle and let's give it about oh, three quarters of a second to get big again. Now do this at a hundred percent and there we go. So what's going to happen is is As it spins, these will get bigger like this. Now, if we want this title to spin around and then disappear after it's out, let's leave it out for about a second. Move our playhead here. And now we can hit R for rotate. So once again, we'll click on the little keyframe clock here. That will set our keyframe. And we have to move it forward because you have to have time passing.
for there to be any sort of movement. And we'll move it here a couple seconds. We'll spin it around about three times. And this is gonna spin around. It gets to here. And now, if we want it to slowly disappear, Take the same thing, and we can hit the T for opacity. So just think transparency when you think opacity, and we'll hit our keyframe again, and that will keep us at 100% up to this point. So then after that, if we went to fade out, we can go zero here, hit return and that will fade that out. So now for our full effect, that will fade out. So for the rest of it, I think we want to make our Earth get bigger. So let's click on our Earth. Let's click on the S. Oops. The S for scale. Click on our little clock. And go ahead here. And we'll make this zero. We'll make this, sorry, we'll make this, what, 600? Make our Earth really big. And then we'll just have everything disappear. So we'll go from scale to T for opacity. We'll click on our opacity. We'll move it forward slightly and put that at zero. Hit that again. So now we have our whole video. And we can play that video. Now, if we think that here this is too long for the white, we'll just put this at, at 6 and we can always change our composition. Back at composition settings, and instead of 10, we'll put this at 6. We'll just type 6 and 0, 0 frames. And so now our whole composition's at 6. To export this, we can go to Make Movie. This will give us the best settings. And we'll call this AE1. We'll save it wherever you want to save it. Make sure that it's best settings, lossless. And then we can render it. And that's After Effects. You can upload that uh, through iMovie like you've done with all of your uh, other videos.